All right, guys, so this video is the method I came up with for making very sturdy and reusable cardboard mortars. And the reason I made this video is because last summer and like years before that, I've been using PVC for mortars, which is not a very good idea because if the powder is too strong or there's a issue somewhere, the tube can burst at any moment and fling shrapnel everywhere, which is obviously very dangerous and cardboard will eliminate this risk. Okay, so the first step is to create the base, which essentially all I'm doing is taking a like a wooden, kind of like a fence board and measuring out a four inch section of that. All right, so for step two, you're gonna need a one inch diameter dowel. And all I'm doing is measuring out one and a half inches of length and then cutting that off with a saw. Okay, and for step three, I'm finding the center on both sides of the base, and then also tracing out a one inch diameter circle. That way I can easily attach the dowel to the base. Okay, and for step three, in order to secure the dowel to the base, I use two one and a half inch screws, and I screw them in side by side, right through the base into the dowel, and make sure you pre-drill. That way you don't get any splitting of the dowel when you're putting in the actual screw. Okay, so for step four, I cut down my tube to seven and a half inches, and I chose that because the dowel piece was one and a half inches, so that would leave six inches of room inside. And I also made sure to buy like the strongest, thickest walls on the tube I could. That way it could withstand multiple firings. All right, so for the fifth step, all I'm doing is adding wood glue and strips along the sides of the dowel, and then I'm spreading it out with a damp paper towel. And one thing that I did do, which I didn't show in this video, was I gouged the surface of the dowel. That way there was a better bond between the tube and the dowel. All right, and the final step is pretty self-explanatory. All you do is just kind of push and twist the tube until it slides on. And then another little handy thing to do, which isn't quite necessary, but I did for all the tubes I made, is I did make a little line to where the dowel would sit once the tube is all the way down, and then I would put a little dot above that, indicating where I should drill a hole for the fuse. That way, I have it like kind of right at the base. So that's pretty helpful to add. Okay, and that's all for this video. Stay tuned for my 4th of July videos.